How to use ChatGPT to sound design a pad. I asked ChatGPT, can you tell me a specific way to make a pad sound? Here is what it told me. Start with a basic oscillator. Begin by selecting a waveform with a rich harmonic content, such as a sawtooth or a square wave. This will form the foundation of your pad sound. Adjust the oscillator's pitch to the desired frequency. Click on default go to analog and choose basic shapes. Move the wavetable position until you see a square wave. Apply low pass filtering. Use a low pass filter to shape the sound. And remove higher frequencies, giving it a smooth and mellow character. Adjust the cutoff frequency to control the brightness of the pad. Lower cutoff values will result in a darker sound. Turn on the filter. Set the cutoff to 600 Hz. Add filter modulation. Introduce subtle movement to the pad. By modulating the filter cutoff frequency, assign a low frequency oscillator LFO to control the cutoff parameter and set a slow modulation rate. This will create gentle timbral variations over time. Go to LFO1 and switch it to envelope. Go to the rate and switch it to 4 bar. Click on LFO1 and drag it over and place it on the filter cutoff. Bring the value of the filter cutoff LFO to 30. Incorporate detuned voices, duplicate the oscillator, and slightly detune the duplicated voice to create a chorusing effect. This adds thickness and richness to the sound. Experiment with the detuning amount until you achieve a desired result. Turn on Oscillator B. Click on the oscillator shape. Go to Analog and choose Basic Shapes. Move the wavetable position until it is a sawtooth wave. Bring the detune of Oscillator B down to 0 0.20. Turn on Oscillator B on the filter. Apply Reverb and Delay to enhance the sense of space. And add Depth. Apply a reverb effect to the pad sound. Adjust the reverb parameters, such as decay time and Weddle dry mix. To achieve the desired ambience, additionally, consider adding a subtle delay effect to provide a sense of spaciousness and sustain. Click on the FX tab. Turn on the reverb and move it to the top of the FX chain. Click on the mix knob and change the value to 40%. Turn on the delay and move it to second in the FX chain. Turn on ping pong. Click on the mix knob of the delay and set it to 20%. Layer multiple pads, create additional layers. By repeating the above steps or using different waveforms and filter settings. Experiment with different combinations and textures to create a lush, complex pad sound. Adjust the volume and panning of each layer to create a balanced blend. Click on the oscillator tab. Raise the unison of oscillator A to 4. Raise the octave of oscillator B to plus 1. Raise the unison of oscillator B to 8. Finalize with modulation and effects to further shape the pad. Experiment with additional modulation sources like envelope generators or LFOs to modulate parameters like amplitude, filter cutoff, or pitch. Additionally, you can add other effects such as chorus, phaser, or distortion to add character and uniqueness to the pad sound. Click on FX and turn on Chorus and move it to third in the FX chain. Click on the Chorus Mix knob and change the value to 35%. I asked ChatGPT, what is the specific ADS R of a pad sound? Attack, the attack phase determines how quickly the sound reaches its maximum volume for a pad sound. You typically want a gradual and smooth onset, so a longer attack time is suitable. Try setting the attack time around 500 to 1000 milliseconds. Change the attack to 300 milliseconds. Decay. The decay phase controls how long it takes for the sound to transition from its initial peak to the sustained level for a pad sound. A medium decay time is often used to maintain a lush and continuous sound Set the decay time around 500 to 1000 milliseconds. The decay is already set at 1 second on the default patch. So we can leave it at 1 second. Sustain. The sustain phase determines the level at which the sound remains while a note is held. Pads are often characterized by their sustained quality 
so set the sustain level relatively high, usually around 70 to 100% of the maximum volume. Set the sustain to minus for dB. Release. The release phase defines how long it takes for the sound to fade out after a note is released for pads. A longer release time is generally preferred to allow for smooth and seamless transitions between notes. Try setting the release time around 1000 to 2000 milliseconds. Change the release to 1.5 seconds.